Alright then. Okay guys, we are here. Welcome back to the best of three deathmatch. I was almost going to say best of five then. Uh, but no, it's best of three on deathmatch and um, this is game number three right here between Psy and VN. The score is currently 1-1 and it's been a pretty good series of deathmatch games so far to decide who gets the third point in this best of seven series. Yeah, it does get a little bit complicated, doesn't it, when I kind of go on about how it's a best of three, and it's a best of three to decide who wins the point in the best of seven, and then the best of seven is to decide who goes through to the next stage of the double elimination stage. It's, it goes on and on and on. It's really quite complex, but doesn't really matter. We're just here to see the games, and that's what it's all about. So, down to the southwest of the map in the blue, we've got uh, Mr. Yo playing as the Saracens, and his teammate over to the southeast in the green is Air M Abu playing as the Persians. Now up to the north or west of the map, in sorry, northeast of the map in the red, we've got the Hornet playing as the Saracens. And up to the northeast, we've got, uh, northwest even, we've got Robert Stinson playing as the Huns. So it's a non-mirror matchup. We've actually got Huns and Saracens versus uh, Persians and Saracens. Um, the Persian player on the right side seems to be in a bit of trouble. The Hornet pushing forwards very aggressively, very quickly. Quickly, and of course, those Saracen camels are so freaking good. An extra 30 HP on those guys. Be able to decimate those uh, camels from Abu. 140 HP versus 170 is no uh, small deal. So uh, Hornet getting a huge advantage very quickly, very early on. Mr. Yo bringing in those camels to try and hit Hornet back at home. But Abu not able to get off the ground at this rate. Robber Stinson bringing in some uh, paladins for good measure. But really, I think it would be better for him to send over some cavalry archers, if anything. Now on this left, left side, I think the Huns are going to be the weakest link. The Huns are supposed to get a big advantage through their sheer population size, but because they're up against Saracen Camels, they're going to have a tough time with their Paladins. They might be relying on heavy cavalry archers a little bit more, and it gets a little bit tough in that situation. So on the right side... Abu taking a bit of a beating. He's only got nine eco units, but he's not out of the game. He's not been put right out, but he is still 2v1. Robert Stinson and the Hornets bringing in their camels and paladins and the halberdier and the heavy cavalry archers and just everything you can imagine. We got some Mamelukes coming through now as well, and Abu unable to get a single castle up yet, and this is really breaking the way he would have liked to play this game. So Mr. Yo is forced to go over there and help out. There's Mamelukes trotting over there. They move so weird. But um, <laughs> I love the Mameluke. They're a great unit, but they do run very odd, very oddly. Uh, but yeah, obviously Robert Stinson on his left side, um, looking pretty decent right now. He's got a really sizable army. And as long as he brings in those halbs and the heavy cavalry archers, he should be okay. The Camels and the Mamelukes are a really powerful combination, but... I think he could just about hold out. The question is, can Abu hold out? Abu's down to 14 population, and there's no way Yo can win this in a 2v1. So, I, I, they've got to bring the siege in. I don't know why VN have not brought the siege in just yet. The Hornet should be bringing in the siege right now. A couple of rams just to put an end to these town centers. Stop Abu from even getting a chance. And Yo just forced to send everything he's got over there, but he's not got a lot, to be honest with you. He's only 80 population himself. Robert Stinson, 144. The Hornet on 87. And even though he's sitting underneath this town center, with only plus two attack, he's able to tank a little bit more than he otherwise would. And of course, those camels just so damn good. Got Paladins coming through now as well. These villagers going down. And Abu, 37 population. He's putting as much as he can inside of these stables and these barracks right now. But uh, honestly, I don't know why they've not brought the siege in just yet. Um, still, no rams. Nothing coming forwards. And they could have ended him by now and uh, focused on Yo. Meanwhile, on the left side, Mr. Yo sending everything he's got over to the right, leaving the left flank kind of undefended. These siege, ra uh, siege onages and siege rams here, yeah, they're going to get wrecked. Those paladins are going to kill them, and there's not a lot there for Mr. Yo to stop that from happening. On the left side, Mr. Yo's castle is, is TC. It's being taken down. And Mr. Yo tried some sneaky flank attack with these castles, but 
Robert Stinson spotted it out, and he is going to end that pretty quickly. Of course, the Mameluke there able to deal with the uh, Trebs pretty quickly, but not fast enough. Those castles going to fall. But hey, Abu nearly back on his feet. He is. He's not dead yet. His castle is still, uh, his TC even is still standing. And although the Hornet and uh, Robber Stinson are still here, he has managed to get enough units out from his resource reserves to hold on. And of course, Mr. Yo now coming in as well. I tell you what, if, if Sai win this game, that's going to be one hell of a turnaround, I tell you that. Uh, obviously, VN with a clear advantage at the moment. Robert Stinson nearly at 200 population. The Hornet at just 100, but relentlessly pushing in against Abu. Abu managing to get up that castle now, and the Hornet probably going to want to go back because the Mamelukes, Camels, they are classed as ships, and uh, we know what castles have attack bonuses against. That's right, they have attack bonuses against ships, hence they have attack bonuses against Camels and Mamelukes, and they take them out pretty quickly. Although, fortunately, the Saracens, Camels, the Mamelukes have a ton of health, meaning that they do have a little bit more longevity underneath these castles. But Mr. Yo, uh, not Mr. Yo, sorry, Abu, once again being dealt with, uh, to say the least. And uh, even with that castle being up, he was not safe. Down to 26 population now. And on the left side, Mr. Yo uh, trying to deal with uh, Robert Stinson, getting out as many Mamelukes as he possibly can right here to try and. Uh, Try to defend against Robber Stinson. So I, I I think Robber Stinson is going to end up getting pushed back. Obviously, the Mamelukes are so good against uh, pretty much everything, let's be honest. I mean, their biggest weakness is mostly uh, the Siege Onagers, but they just wreck everything in their path. Uh, they are so awesome. Absolutely love the things. Um, trade? Is trade going? The Hornet and Robber Stinson trading across this top side. Interesting that they decided to trade between the north and the west because this is right outside of Abu's base. In fact, Abu is building a market right here to try and trade across the bottom, which is actually the most logical place. So it's really weird that they're trading across this side and not across the top side, uh, across the to the north to the east. But hey, um, who am I to judge? They are obviously doing something right because they are winning this game so far. Both the Hornet and Robert Stinson have uh, almost double the population of both Yo and Abu at the moment. And uh, their economies are much further ahead at this point in time. Of course, Robert Stinson here uh, can afford to throw away a few more trash units if he can close the gap to the Mamelukes. But yes, um, on the right side, the Hornet now finally bring in some siege. Abu's got a few elephants out, but it's just not enough. Just four elephants is uh, nowhere near enough at this point in time. And if he'd have hadn't managed to play the game the way he wanted to, he would have had a lot more elephants than this by now. Um, gotta be careful though, because those traps going down very quickly, but the Mamelukes here, oh the Mamelukes, they are so damn good. Uh, those elephants gonna get taken down very quickly by the Mamelukes as well. Um, they have an attack bonus against cavalry. Elephants are cavalry. And uh, they get taken down by Mamelukes very, very quickly. So, elephants down. And uh, again, the Hornet able to push forwards once more. I, I'm surprised he lost those trebs so quickly. I thought he would have put the Mamelukes in front, to be honest with you, because the Mamelukes are only three range. It's not like if you patrol, uh, you know, longbows or are blessed, they will get stuff well before it gets near to the trebs. With just three range, if they're too far back, they won't even engage any enemies that are attacking your trebs. So it's best to kind of treat, the, treat these guys like melee almost, because they do do melee damage, and although they only have three range, um, they are still better to think of as a melee unit, I guess. Uh, gotta be very careful with that. So, Mr. Yo seems to be pushing Robert Stinson back a little bit here. Now, Robert Stinson has got a pretty decently sized army. In fact, he's going for some elite Tarkins here as well on this left side, which is pretty awesome, in fact. Uh, we might see some interesting Tarkin action running at the back, running to the back, bringing down some of these buildings very quickly using their attack bonus against uh, buildings, of course. But one big thing in this game so far to bear in mind Sai do not have any trade yet, and their gold is going to run out fairly soon. Um, Robert Stinson's got 4,000 gold. Uh, Yo's got 700. Abu has 4,000, but then again, he's not really been able to spend too much of it. And uh, Hornet has 200. But these guys are getting a little bit more trade out pretty well. Oh, 
much sooner. And uh, the side team have no markets to trade with at the moment. So that's something to really bear in mind as the resources, the uh, the gold on the map, the natural gold, the gold that is there at the start of the game starts to get depleted. So Abu trying to send over some units to the right side to attack this trade, but he's going to be headed off by the Hornets uh, Mamelukes. And uh, he is not going to get too far with those uh, halves. They're just dead in an instant. Meanwhile, the Hornets, with his trebuchets on the front, is able to push forwards and bring down these castles uh, as and when he pleases. Because really, Abu is going to do nothing to stop him at the moment. Uh, Mr. Yo, though should have a natural advantage against the Huns. I feel like, you know, the, the, the Saracens in the late game just trump the Huns in so many ways. Their Mamelukes are fantastic against cavalry archers. They're fantastic against their uh, paladins as well. And they just have what it takes to really do so much damage to the Huns here. So Mr. Yo should be able to uh, win this left side. But it's down to the Hornet really to win the right side faster or to go and help out and I don't know really which way it's gonna go at the moment but uh, Miss Yo looking pretty dangerous over here Robert Stinson yet again seems to be the weakest link but the Hornet has got some um, onagers on standby waiting for those to be put into play because they will do some serious damage to those Mamelukes there but yeah obviously got to be very careful not to lose your left flank if you can help it now on the right side some heavy scorpions coming out for Abu, but uh, not the best decision considering the Siege Onagers are out for the Hornet here. And I know they're not Korean Siege Onagers, but still, uh, 9 range, a lot of damage, and they're able to flatten a lot of scorpions uh, before they can even get into firing distance. So on this left side, the Siege Onagers doing some serious work, and of course they are the way to win against the Mamelukes. You saw them in action there. If you've got uh, a line of uh, units in front of your Onagers, then yeah, you can seriously take down a lot of Mamelukes very, very quickly. But yeah, on this right side, still, uh, the Hornet, I, I think he could push in a lot faster than he is doing. There's not too many castles here stopping his progress, and uh, he's taking them out pretty quick. He just needs to focus, take down the castle, move forward, take down the next castle, move forward, and be as fast as he can about it, because the faster he is, the more time he can uh, he can buy, and the more of an advantage his team can get. Uh, Robert Stinson on his left side in trouble, and really, really relying on the Hornet here to help him out. Uh, the Hornet's bringing in some Mamelukes now, but yeah, like he needs to move faster on this right side. Needs to make sure that these castles are brought down as fast as he possibly can. But he has got a ton of trebs, and he's got a ton of siege onages as well. These guys always seem to have just so much gold. I don't know how they do it, but they do. Um, <laughs> siege onages at the back here, laying down that damage once again. Mamelukes from the Hornet coming over, supported by the heavy cavalry archers from Robert Stinson. And it's GG. Mr. Yo's calling it right there. They don't want to play on anymore. That's enough deathmatch for today, they say. And uh, Mr. Yo, Air M. Abu gonna GG out it would seem uh, they've not resigned just yet but any second now they are going Abu G he says and uh, well played by both uh, it seems like VN then are gonna take that third point they win the deathmatch phase in a 2-1 victory really not bad at all and uh, I'm pretty impressed by their deathmatch play to be honest with you like I said uh, Robert Stinson seems to be the weaker link but he still holds his own and the Hornet there just mopping up against Abu in the early game uh, this one of course was not mirror sieves so you could argue that they had an advantage due to their sieve choice but in theory you know the Persians and the Saracens would be better against the Huns and the Saracens in the late game but the Huns just had that speed advantage and they focused down Abu so quickly that he could not get a powerful enough force up and running to really combat the Hornet. So really well played by VN and they're going to get that third point there for their team.